two days after Election Day, and Americans still don't know which party controls Congress. The results for the Senate are mostly in, except for three states, Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia. For the House, the results could take longer. The Republicans have an easier path to the 28 seats they need to control that chamber. Even if they lose the House, Democrats are taking a victory lap after overperforming on election night. While the press and the pundits are predicting a giant red wave, uh, it didn't happen. ABC News' latest Senate count, 48 Democrats to 49 Republicans, meaning whichever party can clinch two of the three remaining seats will win the majority. In Arizona and Nevada, they're still counting ballots and the margins are razor thin. The mail will continue to process every day. If neither the Democrats nor Republicans sweep those seats, then the Senate majority will once again come down to a runoff race in Georgia. There is one race in our state that is going to be moving to the December 6th runoff. Incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker were tied at 49 percent on election night, but one of them needed to surpass 50 percent to win. President Biden doing his part, promoting a fundraiser for Warnock on his personal Twitter page. We will hear from the people of Georgia. I don't come to lose. In the House, Republicans are inching closer to taking a majority, albeit a slim one. Minority leader Kevin McCarthy already publicly seeking support to become the next Speaker of the House, despite dozens of races still being undecided. Do you have the votes for both the majority and the speakership? Yes. For now, all eyes are on Nevada and Arizona, where officials continue to count thousands of votes. And every day, as they release more results in their Senate races, we may get a better sense of which party is gaining or losing momentum. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.